Morning, everyone. Hello from James over there and Becky over there in the corner. Um, so we're at Central YMCA and today we're just going to do a little bit of a Zumba tutorial just to remind you of the baseline steps. Um, and then we'll do a track that you can follow at home just to keep moving. So if you haven't done Zumba before, this is a good opportunity just to be reminded of some of the basic steps uh, and then you can join in. So have some water close by, please. Have plenty of space around you. I want my two glamorous assistants to be in frame so you can both move in a little bit. So always remember with Zumba, posture is important. So keep your back straight. Keep some tightness around the abdominals. The basic move to start off is just a nice, easy march on the spot. So you can all join me now with a nice, easy march on the spot. And this is always your go-to. If you get a bit lost for some of the moves, you can always come back to just a march on the spot and then join back in. So Zumba is basically a combination of salsa, reggaeton, cubria, and merengue, dance moves. And every teacher is different, and they'll add their own flavor to it. So the first move we're just going to do is just a nice tap to the side. So you can just tap the foot out to the side. And again, that's just getting your hip to move. It's just a nice, easy one to do as part of a warm-up. Or if you're starting to go into your main workout, you just do that tap to the side, point your toes. And then from here, we take it back to a march on the spot. And we practice next move. Next move is just a single side step. So from here, all we do is we go side, step, side, same leg, side, step, side, step. So we can stick with this leg for now, and then we're going to swap to the other leg. Three, two, one. You take the other leg out, step, other leg out, step. Keep the knees soft, keep the spine lengthened, keep the abdominals nice and tight. Baseline move. Lovely. Now we come back to the march on the spot. We're going to combine those two moves with the side, one, two, three, and then we're going to alternate the legs. So here we go. Nice and easy. You check side, one, two, three, side, one, two, three, side, one, two, three. Perfect, both of you. Keep it going. Side, one, two, three. Lovely work. That's it, Let's Go a little wider. Perfect, James. Keep it going. Three more. Two more. Start to move your hips. Last one. Excellent. Okay, come back to the march on the spot. We're just going to move the legs in a different direction now, and we're going to go forward. So again, any leg, you just go forward, tap, 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 forward, tap, tap, tap. Same leg, tap, tap, tap. And then you can swap to the other leg now. So we change to the other leg, forward, one, two, three. Forward, one, two, three. Yep. And then you can start to move your hips. A little more bigger. Forward. One, two, three. Last one. Hold it here. March it out. Good. Always come back to that march on the spot. We're going to combine those now. And we're just simply going to do a forward. One, two, three. And the other leg. One, two, three. Forward. One, two, three. Lovely. That's going to be perfect. One more. And then march it out. Good work. All right. So we've done for you the baseline moves that you'll see in some of the Zumba sessions that we do. The other one we're just going to do is move in a different direction now. So what I want you to do is just do a side step heading that way. So we're just going to go for one, two, one, two. And again, you can add a clapping if you like. Keep your hands on your hips, depending on the space that you're in. But again, it's just moving in a different direction. For those who do Zumba in other areas or other channels, you might also have a little grapevine here. So we'll just do a quick demo here on grapevine. Leg goes behind, you just, leg goes behind, you just, easy. But if that's too much or you don't need hip or knee injuries, my advice, stick to a side step, just as effective. Last one here. Excellent. Come back to the posture, relax the shoulders, keep the abdominals tight. Last move here, box step. People find this one 
quite challenging at times, so we'll do it slow. There's two versions of the box step. Let's take the legs out wide. This is basically simply a forward, forward, back, back. But you keep the legs wide, okay? So that's one version of the move, keeping the legs wide. You start to move your hips a little bit. You bend your knees a little bit here as well. Option two, come back to the march on the spot, is we simply go step, step, back, back. So you go wide, wide, narrow. Out, out, in, in. You can go a little lower. You can add a little bit of a hop at the top if you like, a bit of extra cardio, or you can just keep it low intensity and move. Perfect. Good work. And march it out. We breathe. All right, everyone, are we ready to put those moves into practice? Yes? Yeah, yeah. All right, everyone, keep marching on the spot. I'm going to get the music going. One track. Let's get moving. Woo! All right. the camera now and frame. So remember on the Central YMCA YouTube channel there are quite a few options for Zumba. Um, this is the first kind of tutorial that I've done. Um, so if you're new to Zumba, if you're watching in another country, welcome to the channel. Have a look at this, practice the moves, and then go back and look at some of the other workouts. Um, there are also chair-based stretching workouts, strength training workouts um, on the playlist, so have a look at that. 
Um, and I will be shooting some more footage for next week as well. So keep an eye uh, on the Central YMCA YouTube channel. So until next time, everyone, keep well, stay safe, and hopefully see you back in the club soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.